As the world and Rwanda continue to grapple with the COVID-19 pandemic, pregnant mothers say they've continued to do their antenatal visits, while others say they are having difficulty fulfilling the required visits to the doctors. As soon as I found out I was pregnant, I rushed to the doctor to check on the baby's condition. I complied with all the plans they gave me. I tested four times and I gave birth to a healthy baby. I went for the antenatal checkup at a later time when I was going to give birth. I was worried because I gave birth before my due date and it concerned me. At the Remera Health Center in Gasabo District, they receive about 300 mothers that come for antenatal checkups monthly, and about 150 to 170 mothers give birth naturally every month. Some of the parents we met who had given birth there say they are continuing their efforts to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic while also protecting their children. When I was pregnant, I would wear my face mask properly and sanitize with clean water and soap. And even after I gave birth, I've continued the practice and while breastfeeding my child, I'm wearing my face mask so I protect my baby. Mujawa Maria Ruiz, in charge of maternity care, says parents in general continue to participate in antenatal programs to avoid the potential side effects. Mothers that don't come for antenatal tests might have issues such as miscarriages due to complications, but for us, we encourage them to do the tests here. Sometimes mothers become anemic and they miscarry. Sometimes they may turn out to be HIV positive at the time of birth and infect the child if they didn't know. Dr. Tatie Buchana from the Rwanda Biomedical Center says that in Rwanda, 19 out of 1,000 children die before they are 28 days old, according to the 2020 Rwanda Demographic and Health Survey. Efforts are currently being made to prevent these deaths. Dr. Tatia also says that in the current era of COVID-19, child and maternal health care programs have not stopped. It's not enough that mothers go for the test four times. When they don't come on time, it's not good. They should come before they are 12 weeks pregnant. And there won't be a reason for concern for them contracting the virus because we encourage them to adhere to the services and we encourage them to respect the guidelines for preventing the spread of the virus because when pregnant mothers contract it, there could be threats to their life for both the mother and the child. According to health authorities in Rwanda, only 35% of pregnant women are tested the required four times, with 93% giving birth in hospitals. The World Health Organization says global progress in child health could be reversed by the COVID-19 pandemic. The World Health Organization also says that although infant mortality rates have declined by 98.3% compared to the 1990s, 7,000 babies are dying every day before they are 28 days old. This number is likely to increase significantly in these times of the pandemic because there are mothers that are no longer able to go for antenatal checkups, putting their lives and their children's lives at risk. This adds to the risk of contracting COVID-19 in the absence of proper prevention. Reporting for RTV, Gloria Mutesi.